According to a recent national survey, half of American women have undertaken a home improvement job recently. Personally, I've taken on several. Why? The common answer is to save money, but the second most important reason is personal pride and satisfaction. DIY Network's Anitra Mekadon joins us from Charlotte with recommendations to keep in mind before you start swinging that sledgehammer. Good morning, Anitra. Good morning. How's it going out there in hey, Omaha? We're doing great. Glad to have a few minutes with you this morning. Um, there was a time home improvement projects were really seen as daunting, but that's changing. Uh, what do you what do you think some of the areas in the home are that people seem to be tackling most? You're right. It, I think it was daunting because before you might see a homeowner painting the living room or daring to tackle a light fixture, but now I'm watching them take full on bathroom renovations themselves without GCs. And this isn't just the boys that are doing this. The girls are doing this mm -hmm. stuff too. You mean as in general What's, contractors? Why wouldn't you do it though? <laughs> yeah, like GCs. Well, it, th <laughs> think about this. If you take on a bathroom renovation, you're increasing the value of your home and mm -hmm. you get the bonus of showering in something pretty when it's done. That's what we always hear about increasing property value. <laughs> it's kitchens and bathrooms. So give us a few ideas about updating our bathrooms at home, making them more of an at-home oasis. Here's what I would say. If the tile's ugly, you're going to hate the bathroom. So start with the tile. Uh, that's a great way to freshen up the look and modernize it. And, you know, you guys have a tile shop out there. I'm standing in one right now. There is something for just about every budget here and anybody's taste level. You can imagine from traditional to modern to super funky. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, look at it. It's like artwork. You can literally it's treat beautiful. your tile like artwork now. It's incredible. But what I would say to you is what good is that going to be if it falls off the wall because you didn't hang it right uh -huh. or even worse you have to rip it off the wall because now you have a moisture problem so if you're going to tackle that bathroom renovation you're going to want two things you're going to want to use perma-based cement board this is going to go behind your tile in your wet zones that's your tub your shower your sauna all the other zones you're going to want to use purple drywall the reason being these are moisture mold and mildew resistant that's huge and it's a bonus that they're made in the usa so can you hang that stuff yourself? I mean, I guess you'd have to be somewhat experienced uh, if you're going to start because a well, cement board's heavy, uh, but knowing how to hang drywall is uh, it's important. You know, it's funny you should say that. They, there's actually, uh, Permabase actually has a cement board product that's 25% lighter Get than out. the other stuff. So, you know, I swear. And, uh, you know, chicks like me that are uh -huh. five foot nothing, that yeah. totally comes in handy. But you can do this yourself. It's not as difficult as you think. Here's what I would say. Grab a friend. Don't try it alone because, you know, I mean, I'm five foot nothing. It's a little, I have Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. It's a little hard for me, <laughs> you know. But uh, you just grab a drill and go to town. If you're working worried about the finishing of it, you know, uh -huh. the mudding and making it yes. smooth and pretty for paint, have somebody come in to do the finishing work. Every time you pick up a tool and you DIY something, you're saving coin. And the mean, you're also adding value to your home, so why not give it a try? Mm -hmm. And then any tips for... If you screw something up, phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> right, like the old game shows. Uh, any recommendations? We have about a minute. But in terms of tiling, are there certain mistakes that you see um, homeowners, DIYers make that you'd say, avoid this? Yeah, you know, uh, in tiling, it usually, what happens is it, it's when you're actually laying the tile, mm -hmm. when you're putting down your mastic, your mud, whatever you're using, um, it's having it uneven, right? Yeah. You have to pay attention to that because not all of our floors, we're not lucky enough to live in brand new houses where everything is straight and perfect. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. The other thing where I see people go wrong, the what's behind the tile the mud will come up through your joints. Mm -hmm. That's for your grout. So what's going to happen is when that dries, you're going to have to come back in and scrape that all out so that the grout has some place to go. So, um, but again, go online. There's great tips yeah. and tricks so you can look like a pro. We've got, I mean, we've got a website, askforpurple.com. It'll totally teach you everything you need to know. I can only imagine how I much mean, money. I mean, we all want to look like pros. Yeah, and we all want to <laughs> save money. I can only imagine how many thousands of dollars Absolutely. I've helped us save at home. Anitra, thanks for joining us today. We've enjoyed it. Thank you, guys. Thank and you. again, have fun out in Omaha. Go to askforpurple.com. <laughs> you got it. Thank you. Mike, over to you.